Hello guys, I'll be presenting on otalgia, a common complaint in primary care. DJ, a 29 year old African American male, present today with the chief complaint of, I think I have an infection in my left ear. My ear is painful and tender to touch since yesterday. DJ is a 29-year-old African-American male who came in today with complaint of left ear pain since yesterday. He described his pain as throbbing, radiating to his jaw, and his pain get worse with chewing. He reported his temperature being 101 last night. He denies any trauma or events that could trigger his pain other than spending time on the beach during the past weekend. He reports taking Tylenol 500 mg twice last night with no relief. Upon review of system, DJ denies any fever, chill, or change in weight. He complained of ear pain and tenderness. He denies any change in hearing, vision, one nose, or sotro. He denies any chest pain, chest pressure, palpitation, or lower extremities edema. He denies any cough, shortness of breath, or autognomia. He denies any abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. He denies any urinary problem. He denies any muscle pain, back pain, joint pain, or stiffness. He denies any rash or itching. He denies any headaches, syncope, dizziness, paralysis, numbness, or tangling. DJ vital signs are reading normal range. He weighs 162 pounds. He is 62 inches tall. His blood pressure 129 over 61. His heart rate 72, respiration rate 16, his temperature 98.2, his oxygen is 99%. There was no labs or diagnostic test done. He's taking metformin 500 mg PO twice a day. He also takes over the counter multivitamins. He denies any allergies. His past medical history includes diabetes mellitus. He was diagnosed in 2001. His past surgical history includes tonsillectomy. He couldn't remember the year he was he had the tonsillectomy done, but he was at a really young age. He was circumcised in 2013. Now on to DJ's social history. He's single, he's unemployed, he lives with his sister. He's a former smoker for 10 years. He quit two years ago. He denies any alcohol intake. His father, 56 years old, is alive. He has history of high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, and kidney stones. His mother is 40 nine years old. She is also alive. She has history of diabetes mellitus. She's obese and also she has breast cancer. His sister is 31 years old. She has history of asthma. A thorough physical examination was done. DJ, a 29-year-old, alert and oriented with no acute distress, answers all questions appropriately, no evidence of trauma noted, there's no acute purulent discharge noted during assessment of his ear canal, some redness noted to the ear canal, and tenderness noted with traction on the article. Normal symmetrical expansion of the chest noted, lungs are clear bilaterally. 
S1 and S2 present on auscultation, skin warm and dry to touch, no ulcerations or rashes noted. Cranial nerve 2 to cranial nerve 12 are ghostly intact. Some of DG's um, differential diagnosis include otitis externa. Otitis externa is an infection of the ear canal, which goes from the ear lobe to the eardrum. Otitis, otitis media. Otitis media is a middle ear infection, often occur at the same time as the cold and allergy nose and throat infection or enlarged gland. Labyrinthitis is an inflammatory disorder of the inner ear. Treatment plan depends on the severity of the condition. Some practitioners may prescribe ear drops and advise to keep the ear dry because most of the time this condition resolves on its own. Since this patient was complaining of um, fever, although he was a febrile when he came in, we ordered ibuprofen 800 mg every six hours for mild to severe pain. Um, we advise him to keep his ear canal dry, limit time exposed to water, wear earplugs when swimming, do not scratch the ear, or poke things such as cotton swabs inside the ear canal. Refrain from blowing the nose hard, especially when having a cold. No consultation or referral needed at this time. No labs were done. Follow up appointment in three to four weeks or as soon as possible if the symptom persists. The treatment guideline objective is to limit acute symptoms and complication, to minimize long term damage and to limit complication of antibiotics therapy, including the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Management includes analgesics, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, topical analgesics. Also observation versus initiating antibiotics therapy. By that, we mean um, some providers, when patients come with um, ear pain, they will write a prescription for antibiotics most of the time, but they will advise the patient to wait at least 48 to 70 hours before getting that prescription filled because most of the time, this infection will resolve on their own. Um, First line of antibiotics use his idols of amoxicillin. If patient is allergic to amoxicillin, Zetromax will be prescribed. If failure both of these antibiotics or in case of serious bacterial infection, will and will be prescribed. Order management include preventive measures because in this infection, sometimes we need to treat the underlying cause. Some preventive measures include immunization, reduction in exposure to passive smoke, treatment of gastroesophageal reflex, Although otalgia is usually associated with ear problems, it may originate outside the ear. In this article, they assess the clinical characteristics of patients with otalgia. Otalgia can be classified as primary or referred. Primary otalgia is ear pain that originates inside the ear. 
and referred otalgia is ear pain that originates from outside the ear. A detailed patient history and thorough examination are required to accurately determine whether otalgia is primary or referred. 294 patients underwent a thorough examination covered the ear, the teeth, the temporal mandibular joint, the nose, the sinuses, the head, neck, and when necessary, examination included um, direct and indirect laryngoscopy and biopsy. Of the 294 patients, 208 which is 70.7% were diagnosed with um, primary otalgia, and 86, which is 29.3%, were diagnosed with referred otalgia. With primary otalgia being more frequent, patients who complain of otalgia should undergo detailed physical examination for acute infectious um, ear disease such as cellulitis, otitis externa, acute otitis media, mastoiditis, etc. The world of the nurse practitioner. The nurse practitioner role is to diagnose, treat, and assist patients in managing their condition. Um, they also conduct thorough physical examination and interpret medical history, ordering and performing diagnostic tests and procedures, prescribed pharmacological treatment, counseling and educating patients about preventive measures to avoid certain illness. This is the reference page. I have no idea why it come up like that. I wish I could make it look better, but I tried.